Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new BB Vicious uh, Challenge. Going to give you guys the best comps, tips, and whatever else you need to get this BB skin. So you only need to win nine matches, I believe, is three losses. And of course, I'll be carrying you guys over on my Discord. I may even stream this as well at the weekend to try and give you guys a good chance of getting this BB skin. A really nice skin, and it's a really fun challenge to do so. Uh, so also, before we get into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code in the show and mine will be greatly appreciated so without further ado let's jump into today's video all right guys so going into the first map for this challenge the first set is going to be uh bounty snake prairie so a map i've not really seen on the challenge before uh but definitely a good map to start off with so the best combination by far on this map is going to be bow tara and rosa so with uh, rosa you want to be using the heal star power and this slow gadget the slow is just going to be so good at the start especially if you pop it just before you get that mid star of course with snake prairie as always it's always important to try and keep your lead so once to get that lead play a little bit defensively uh use your bow totems to get both your tara and rosa supers and with the bow totem i actually haven't played snake prairie since they changed it last time uh, so basically you're going to get three full supers out of uh your three gadgets with bow uh, so you want to bear that in mind make sure you're using your bow totem when tara is close by that's going to be the most crucial part that tara is going to get her super so basically as i said you're going to get three fruit uh full supers so that's a minute worth of sitting on the totem so what you want to be doing rosa is going to be the vibrilla that's going to be the furthest up once she has her super as well she just wants to be basically tanking everything try and catch the bow and the tar enemy tara off of guard oh you're probably not even going to face this combo really because you're in the first stages but you know what i mean you want to be facing the more squishy brawlers with rosa uh, just go in there just use your super to tank everything and then tara is going to be like your cleanup brawler so rosa is going to go in aggro tara is going to uh, hopefully have super be close to super she's going to clean up with that super uh, unless she's tom because tom will just miss the super completely but yeah uh <laughs> tara is going to clean up and get all the mess so with bow uh you want to be using the mines on that right hand side uh as you can see in the gameplay you want to be destroying that lane first obviously it, is, it depends on where you actually spawn what side you actually get but make sure you're blocking off that side first because you're going to be able to completely break open that lane uh first and foremost and then obviously mines down the left and whatever else so bow's also going to be pushing up a little bit not too much he's just obviously going to be scouting for intel but you want to keep the bow and the tower close and rose are more aggro you can also pick piper and brook but i just think this combo is just way more suited against a bunch of different combinations and you should be able to get the dub in snake prairies it's kind of simple just try and keep your lead let the enemies come to you don't chase for any more stars but that's going to be a bounty right there let's hop into the next set. all right guys so now we have map number two set number two we have brubble pinball dreams so i did cover this on my poly guide yesterday as well it's gonna be a little bit different than that because obviously Stu, you can't ban Stu. so the number one brawler by far Again, it's going to be Stu. Stu's going to be even more so uh, good on this map because you can use that gadget to break open the lane. So don't really have to worry about the barley pick too much. So yeah, Stu's going to be number one brawler. I feel like you cannot switch Stu out of your composition. He's going to be good against everything. Make sure you're using that wall break gadget, as I said, using Gasset Hill Star Power, and you're just going to dominate literally everything. Make sure you're chaining your supers really well as well, and make sure you're basically always using that super. Uh, so for the mid brawlers, I think that's one of three choices. I often use the bell. Uh, bell's a good counter to the B. Just really better at pinching lanes as well just because she's obviously got the longer range and also the traps can be really good if the enemies push up they're going to get slow by that trap and it should be easier to take them down so that's why i picked bell for the most part but if you're not comfortable using bell gene and b are also the next best picks in the middle both really good brothers and can definitely just be substituted out so going down the lanes now i did pick sandy as uh, my best pick just mainly because on this map again uh, it's just really easy to play defensive with sandy the second like an enemy brawler pushes up you can get a stun wait for 1.5 seconds and your teammates should be able to combine and take them down really easily sandy's just an easy brawler to use as well and could just be good against everything even aggro right now uh, that was the main struggle with sandy why i never used to put him into combinations before because he used to really suck against aggro brawlers over time uh, but with that gadget it just allows him to stay alive for a lot of time so yeah sandy's going to be good against basically everything right now but if you're not comfortable using sandy or uh, even if you don't want to use the stew for whatever reason you've got other good lane picks you've got taro who's obviously going to be good against aggro i think in these challenges whenever i play them i face aggro more often than not so you've got to bear in mind that with your compositions uh, that your brawl well your lane brawlers especially have to be good against tanks so that's why taro and ems are really high up on the next best picks because they're both really good against tanks decent against control as well i've got a barley pick in here uh, it's a little bit of a riskier pick i probably will be playing the barley on the challenge because barley can spawn trap and 1v3 if you're a good barley but it can be also very risky because as i said a lot of people like to use like mortis in these challenges a lot of primos i see a lot of dynamites in this challenge 
A lot of people just like to mess around for some reason, uh, but those are other good picks. And then also, if you want to go an aggro composition, I have put Poco, uh, Primo, and Frank in there because uh, a lot of people do still like to use Primo. Primo can still be a decent lane, but uh, again, if they have tank counters, you're really going to struggle. So that's going to be Pinball Dreams uh, right there. Just make sure you're not getting spawn trapped. Try and keep that pressure in the middle as, for as long as possible. But that's going to be uh, set number two right there. Let's jump into set number three. All right, guys. So going on to the third and final set, we have Gem Grab Flooded Mine. So this map... I've literally played it a handful of times since it came back to the rotation. This used to be a really OG map, like literally back in beta. I think that was the last time it actually got released into the rotation. Uh, but a lot of people don't really like this map. So again, I think the number one brawler, you just can't switch out your composition, is Stu. Especially on these lanes, there's only like a, like a four tile wall, I believe. Uh, like a four tile uh, L wall. You're going to be able to easily break that with that gadget. And then you're just going to wreck every single lane in the game. So yeah, Stu going to be the number one choice for me down the lane. And then mid brawlers, I think there's only two choices. I've got the Jean and the Bell. I think Bell's a little bit better because for the longer ranges, uh, she just does a little bit more damage uh, than Jean. More consistent. And also the traps in gem grab can be really good try and get them traps as close to the middle uh, gem mine as possible uh, so yeah that's how you're going to use bell gene's going to be really good at pinching and scouting the grass so obviously good there so i've picked spike instead of sandy here because spike is a really good counter to stew and also just really good at uh, spawn trapping on this map especially without super so what you want to do once you when you're lane uh, obviously using a new gadget with spike as well that super can just cover so much area just keep the enemy backs for a long time and it's just about zoning on this map it feels like a very spawn trapping map so the spike super ability is really really strong uh, next best pick sandy again down the lane gonna be strong decent against Stu, decent against spike and just overall really good once you get that super to get control of the gem mine in the middle uh torrent m's also just going to be good overall as well because you, uh, you're going to more than likely face those aggro brawlers crow going to be good with a slowing gem grab and then i put amber and primo in there just for other picks if you don't really feel comfortable with it other ones primo is just overall decent everywhere i tend not to put him in the first uh, few picks because a lot of people have adjusted to how to play against primo and especially if they have the tank counter it's going to be hard for primo to really have an effect on the game so these are going to be the best picks inside of a flooded mine just make sure you don't really get uh, spawn trapped Probably play a little bit more defensive than usual and once you get them first few kills you can just spawn trap the enemy team but that's going to be set number three all right guys that's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one let me know down in the comment section below how you get on with this challenge you'll be interested to hear i feel like you should easily be able to get nine uh wins with these combinations tips and whatever else as long as you've got a team with you you should easily be able to get the dub so just a quick recap on the three maps so snake prairie i 100 recommend the bow tara and rosa should be having a good time there uh you've got pinball dreams uh, with the bear that will be in the middle sandy and Stu should be able to be good enough to take you down it's gonna be really hard if you lose that mid control you might get spawn trapped because the enemies can easily sit behind the wall so make sure you're keeping that mid control as much as possible on that map and then finally flooded mine just again you're probably going to get spawn trapped on that map really easily so make sure you're not losing that early pressure try and work together try and pinch down the lanes get your mid to pinch one of the lane brawlers and you should be fairly decent in that map so yeah that's going to be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time